Now I'm taking my thousand grit right here. Just thousand right there. It's not 3M, so we'll just have to do. Well, what we have here, if you look very closely, is it should be all I've gone over the top right here and over a little bit on here. I only got halfway done. But if you'll notice this little shiny speckles, those are all low spots. Now generally, what we do is get the paint on as smooth as we can, three or four layers of it, and leave it on there. Because if it's metallic, you don't want to sand that at all. You don't want to sand the paint at all. Then what we do is we put on the clear over the top, and the clear looks like this with the speckles, and we sand down the speckles until they're smooth. Then we polish it. But with this black, the way it is, and it's so... Um, that's some water there. It's so rough that I'm going to take the orange peel out. Here, let me show you. People are asking, well, what is an orange peel? What is an orange peel? Well, let me show you what the orange peel is. Okay. You see that? That's an orange. Okay. You see that? That's lemon. Now, do you see all the roughness and all, everything on it? Now, we'll, st we'll stick with the orange. Do you see all the roughness and everything on it? Well, does that kind of remind you of anything? Orange peel is shiny but rough. That is what we have right here. We have shiny, and look, look at my reflection in it, my fingers, okay? Now, what that should be is that should be absolutely mirror like when I get done but that's what orange peel looks like right there you see the orange that is what orange looks like orange peel that's when we say in auto body that the paint job is orange peeled and it's got to be fixed or it's orange peeled it means it's shiny and a rough with a capital R. All that is orange peel right there. That's all orange peel. Now, if you look at most cars, if you will go down and carefully look at, let me shut this refrigerator. If you go down, oops, I didn't do that. Did you guys see anything? I didn't see anything. No, wife, I don't know nothing about it. Checks in the mail, it wasn't me. That's right. And by the way, who, am I, who may I ask are you? So we have the orange peel here. And we've taken some of it off. Now when you go to do this, now I'm fixing a mistake. First of all, I never should be painting in this kind of weather. Because I know for a fact, I can put my hand right there and I can tell that this is not dry. If it's not dry, then it's shrinking. It's shrinking and the thinner is coming out. So if I get it super smooth and it shrinks more, I'll see every one of my little problems like right here, up here, and a few weeks down the road, because all the all, it will have shrunk. It's constant. It's constantly shrinking. So when you go to sand this, you want to sand a little at a time. All right. Get yourself a dry rag. Put some water on this. Wipe it off and look at it. If you see some bad areas, go back. Go back and go over the bad areas, little by little, little by. Just a little bit. Remember the golden rule of painters, the number one rule. Stay the hell off these edges. Okay? Now, I'll explain why. This is where a lot of beginning painters are really fucked up. Alright, we see this knife right here. Do you see this knife? Okay, that's a painter's knife that we use in, uh, in uh, house painting. Now, suppose that I take that spray can and I that spray can up there, that spray can. I spray all over this, really nice. Okay, now I'm going to get a lot of layers on the this flat side. But suppose I turn it on this side and I spray and I spray and I spray. Not much is going to get on that edge. Okay, or that edge. Or this edge or this edge 
or this edge. Now the point being on that, and you will get a lot of paint in here, that's, that's an in, inverted edge, that's fine. But what you want to do is you want to do your flat panels first, which would be, and, and do it little by little, practice. Remember, I have total faith in you guys that you can, or any of you out there that want to be a painter. It just takes practice and a good teacher like me. In order to learn, you really need to learn from as many people as you can, because I don't know everything. At uh, 50 years old, I just realized I don't know jack shit. But I will say what I do know, and I will put it on video for everyone to look at free. And I hope that you can gain some knowledge from what I've learned. Because one thing I do know is that I am a teacher. I'm good with the camera. I'm an American. I'm 10 feet tall. Women worship the water I walk on. And I'm very, very humble. Like all Americans. So, do your flat panels first. Up here, up here. Stay off this edge. This isn't bad, but stay off it. Remember when the paint hits right here, okay, what it tends to do is separate to each side. Same with up here on this edge, it separates on each side. The point is, is that if you go to sand everything the exact same and you burn through, and what we call burning through is if you burn through the edge right here or anywhere on here, you're screwed. You've got to repaint it. That's it. That's why what we like to do is get the color on here as smooth as where we like it to be. Like this is, this is acceptable right here for the color coat. This is acceptable. Then what we do is we put on four or five layers of clear, which is this up here. Wheel coating, and this is pretty cool because it's got some um, glitter in it for some reason. Anyway, we put four or five coats of clear over this, and of course that gets rough, and we sand that down with thousand grit, and then we polish that, but it doesn't hurt the underlaying coat, and the clear actually fills in the holes where you won't see these in the top coat because the, the sun goes, the light rays go through the paint through the clear, they hit the base coat and then bounce back out. And all you see is that sheen on top. And that's what we're looking for. You don't have to get it perfect. It, it takes practice, it's fun, it's art. It's not um, work. And I want to show you something I've done here. I've taken this that thousand grit and I've sanded off this um, spot putty and I made a big no-no. Your spot putty, uh, I had a, a dent right here for some reason. You should never have a hard edge right here or here because the putty is softer than the material and usually this is uh, metal. And What happens is the sandpaper will, as you're going along, will dig into the soft area and hollow it out and therefore you'll feel an edge right there. So when you do your spot putty you should have a kind of a halo of putty all the way around it, just a small bit just so you don't have any hard edges. Now these are, are tricks that I've learned over the years and this said uh, right front right there and I, I filled that in and to fix that I, I put front right there and I also put in um, the uh, um, caulk in here. I want to see if that will work. It may not work but it won't hurt it. So, so we continue to fix our panels and after you get this done, you'll be able to do a goddamn, oh, sorry God, sorry, sorry. You'll be able to do a Ferrari or a Lamborghini because they're all done the same way. Once you understand paint, how it dries, temperature and humidity and how it affects drying. And if you have a good teacher like me, then you're going to nail it to the nuts every time. Okay, I hope that helps and you learned a new thing today. Orange. Peel. That's what we mean in uh, auto body.